As we are moving into autumn of 1951, the first army troops are busy planning the next offensive and uh, the next step towards the liberation of Western Germany. We're going to launch a two-pronged assault. Uh, we are going to launch an attack from the north using the first army's uh, marine divisions against the relatively weak positions near Hanover. And we are going to launch a massive armored assault with the remainder of the first army's tank divisions through the south and hopefully we can manage to uh, uh, to cut off the to cut off the uh, the allied positions here and destroy them and uh, the biggest problem with that is probably going to be supply because we are not holding the supply about airford and we're not holding the supply up here in Brandenburg either. So uh, that is going to be a bit of an issue. But we do have supply from the north here, so at least that's working. We'll see how it goes. But the other uh, assault in the north is uh, we're currently just waiting for the uh, just waiting for the airport to be constructed such that we can get our air force up into southern Norway. I don't know if the enemy is going to bring in more no more uh, fighters we will see but we'll try to contest it in combination with a mountaineer assault against entrenched positions this is going to be difficult so we'll see how this goes but uh, the main focus here is again on liberating germany okay so actually how is the this is the northwest germany air uh, air zone unfortunately which is where the ma most of their planes are concentrated but i think the losses that they've taken here um, are really starting to add up. Yeah, it's uh, it's a fair amount, um, and all of these should have been. Yeah, these are these all have been shot down by um, our division AA. So uh, it adds up all these losses. Anyway, uh, let's. Uh, I think everyone here is ready and planned. Uh, yes, we've got five tank divisions and uh, two infantry assault divisions. So let's begin. Uh, let's begin the assault in the south and we'll get the uh, infantry assaults to stay here and we get the tanks to move north and to where can we cut them off actually i think we might have to move that's two more provinces here this one is is too much to attack from across the river so we'll have to stretch it ourselves a little bit but we'll see how this goes Okay. Assault is beginning. We're not yet going to launch the marine assault from the north, although... Um, I mean, we can try. Uh, let's try to launch, simultaneously launch the marine assault from the north and see if the marines can make it across the river uh, with some support from the entrenched infantry. If we can dig the French out of there. The, the benefit is that it, every time we uh, destroy French troops, uh, the every time we destroy French troops, the uh, they cannot replenish those because we are uh, because we are they they don't they have they no longer have the capability to do so. Uh, unfortunately, it does not look like the Marines are going to make it across. So I'm going to stop the assault here, um, and we will have to uh, we'll get them to recover, and we'll have to combine that with the tank assault from the south. So tanks are moving in. Um, I am going to have to uh, wait for the Germans to hold the lines here. And unfortunately, we are again going to be very much out of supply. So we will be waiting for the we'll be waiting for the tanks to get there. Uh, we'll pull the infantry up behind to hold the lines if necessary, and uh, we'll launch another assault from the north. Uh, okay, tanks are there. I think they were a bit quicker than I thought they were going to be. So let's attack with the marines from the other side of the river. And see if we can make this breach happen here. We do have the infantry to pull uh, to pull back in. And I think with the tank attack from the south, uh, we will leave... Uh, do we have all of them engaged? Not yet. We've got some in reserve. They are out of supply, but I think they can manage to... I think they can manage to break these uh, these divisions here and uh, we still have the marines helping out from the north across the river we'll send another marine division south 
that has recovered a little bit and I think yep they are counter-attacking so the Germans are pulling in so I am going to I'm gonna send my infantry divisions to follow that up and hopefully once we have connected this in the north we can get some supply across the river uh, yes we have connected in the north okay good uh, so you move here instant counter-attack but now we have uh, now we have encircled them quite nicely how does that look supply wise can we get uh, can we get supply from Hamburg in there? Um, not sure. Not really. Can we get supply from the north? Maybe we'll try. And yeah, that that worked. Okay, good. So now we just need to hold, and then once we're in there, then the uh, uh, the tanks are going to are going to launch the. Um, they're pushing. They're trying to push out. Not uh, by now, obviously. So we do have to make sure that uh, they're not uh, they're not breaking there. So let's reinforce the lines in the north, and we're going to get the tank divisions to start immediately start pushing, uh, and to try and clean this up as much as quickly as possible. So let's make that happen. We get the marine divisions to help out as well. Um, these divisions can help too. And we will see if we can uh, if we can break them. Uh, they just have to pre we just have to prevent them from breaking out again. That would be uh, that would be quite essential that the Germans are holding in the south here. Uh, otherwise, this is all. And I think I will have to send. I was. I think I will have to send an infantry no, this way and then that way. An infantry division south. Um, or two really. Uh, two probably. So, okay, now one needs to stay and the other needs to move. Let's uh, delete this front line already just so nobody gets any funny ideas. Okay, you need to reinforce there to make sure the, uh, to make sure the uh, Germans aren't, uh, the Germans aren't losing. And uh, we are reinforcing this. This is a massive, no, this is a German attack. Uh, where's the counter-attack happening? Okay, that's the counter-attack. Uh, we have our division committed, but they're not entrenched, obviously. So, uh, our hope lies in the tanks. Uh, and uh, this one infantry division that we're sending south to try and get the Germans to hold here. I think they can hold, but I'll send, I'll send one anyway. And, uh, and we, will, we will attempt will attempt to hold this. This is... I don't think they can break us here, but we'll see. The tank divisions are still pushing in, but that's a lot of opposition there, <laughs> obviously. Everybody else just dig in and hold for now. Uh, that's the German counter-attack. I'm not too concerned about that. Uh, I'm more concerned about this attack here. Um, I've got one of my divisions in reserve, so that should hold. This is the critical one here in the south, because we are low on supply here, so sending up another infantry division was the right decision. That's to make sure that they are not breaking us here while we are uh, dealing with them in the north. Okay, I think... Uh, I think we've pushed them... I think we're starting to push them out. So uh, let's, uh, let's attack the northern position. And... Or we can try to attack the southern position, actually. Yeah, let's... I think we're holding in the north. Let's try to attack the southern position instead. And uh, relieve the uh, relieve the breakout attempts. In the north we're holding. Uh, these are just German counterattacks. In the north we're holding. Uh, just a quick look that I am not... Oh! I have completely missed this American invasion. <laughs> um, yes, I have been mildly busy. <laughs> Haven't paid attention. Uh, where did you all? Where, where did you lot come from? Um, okay, um, that's mildly unfortunate. Uh, yes, I remember now. <laughs> I did actually do this. Um, can we counter this? Uh, in fact, we cannot actually. Um, okay, how are we going to do this? Uh, I am going to send this division north. And we're going to start pushing the Americans back here. 
Uh, these guys have supply. Uh, they're not holding a port, though. Do they have a portable harbor? Do they have a floating harbor? I don't see one. I'm not sure why they have supply. Um, I will need to bring to bring divisions in here from the north, however, to start pushing them back and cleaning this up. Okay, so this is a little uh, this is a little two pronged uh, operation here. So we have one of our divisions here that's holding at this point. That's good. Um, and the armored divisions are on the move to uh, and we're starting to have the Germans here as well. The uh, armored divisions are on the move to clean this up. Uh, we're just going to support the attack from here, but not actually going to move in. Um, everything else is holding. So, how does this look? Uh, we've got two tank divisions currently engaged, and that's because we don't have enough... Uh, we'll, we'll open up the front lines a little bit. This should give us a bit more, uh, a bit more space. Uh, you can... No, you just stay there and hold. Okay, I do need to deal with this, however. Um, we are, uh, yeah, we're going to, we're going to temporarily, I'm going to have to keep a close eye that they're not taking the ports, but we're going to temporarily, uh, retake, um, move some uh, port guard divisions off the lines here. And to deal with these, with these American incursions, because I did not actually see that happening. And we'll push them from the north here once, uh, once this division is in place. Okay, that's happening. Uh, back to the French encirclement here. And we have them encircled, so everybody please attack uh, this position. That is a fair amount. We've got, let's quickly count. We've got 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 16, uh, 20, 22, 39 divisions. That's gonna hurt. So, and we've ov we started overrunning some of them already. So this is going to be a major, and we'll we'll get everybody in on the on the action here. Uh, this is going to be a major, a major victory. That uh, that we get we're, we're going to be a major blow that we're going to be dealing against them there. And we are dealing with uh, now. I just have to be careful that they're not launching another naval invasion while I've got the port guard divisions away. But uh, we're dealing with the Americans here. Let's see if we can start pushing them south from there. Yes, we can. Uh, we'll just we'll just hold in Riga and wait for these. Div okay, these two divisions are in place. So you start cleaning up these American troops here. And they should be out of supply. Yes, they are out of supply. So I'm sure you can eventually make your way through there. Just in case you can't, I'm going to send another division in from the north. Uh, this is... These guys are not out of supply for some reason. Uh, they are not holding a port, so I am surprised. But who knows? Um, we'll, 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 we've got enough divisions here to deal with that, but... Uh, we have taken Magdeburg. And that has been costing the Allies a... 300,000 troops in Magdeburg. I would say that should break the Allied back in this position. Now I am going to get the Marines um, back there and I'm going to get the tank divisions including the two assault divisions here while the Germans are relocating everyone. Uh, where are my tank divisions? Uh, so get me my me on my tank divisions uh, plus these two and you are going to launch another assault um, five there should be more than that uh, where do I have the and these two as well there we go uh, you are going to push north and I would like all of these divisions uh, to be part of that attack uh, you're going to be pushing north and we'll clean up the rest around Hamburg. I think that, that is uh, the better the better approach. Uh, do we have the... Okay, uh, and, and I'm going to focus for now on just cleaning up the incursion here. So uh, let's, do, let's do that. And uh, The Americans have decrypted our ciphers. That is very unfortunate. I might have to strengthen my... 
I strengthen my cryptology again. Um, yeah, we'll we'll spend another fifteen factories on encryption, and uh, we'll see. We'll see. Okay, they are trying to take Riga. Obviously, I'm still confused. While the troops here in the north are having, uh, you can actually help since you're here. Uh, I'm not sure why the uh, the troops in the north here uh, are having supply. They shouldn't because they don't have a port and they don't have a floating harbor. So. I am not sure why that's the case. And we are actually struggling to get even through these divisions here. So um, well, let's 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 uh, contain them then for now. Make sure they're not counterattacking. Uh, and I think we can counterattack from Riga. So counterattack and uh, support the attack from uh, from Riga. Okay, that's happening. These divisions are going to push here and on, these can uh, continue the containment and then we will yeah there we go uh, on, you on, just clear that you to clear those okay uh, we are closing the gap here and we've got three divisions here now on, so on, one two three attack and push back towards uh, towards Riga as well. Uh, I am taking the American losses gladly. Got two more divisions coming in. Okay, I think uh, we are making we are making um, significant progress. Uh, where did my marine divisions go? Um, okay, I've got the marines here. I may actually just uh, shorten that line. To the south river bank they don't need the river to do the river crossing right now they can just dig in here for now and uh, eventually help out with uh, retaking that position the americans are still assaulting us viciously in the north and hopefully are still losing tanks while they're doing so okay uh, that has failed um no counter attack here we need to prevent these guys from breaking out uh, you attack here as well all of you um, go through with that with that attack. No, 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 no. All three. Yes, there we go. All three of you go through with that attack. Uh, this is they're re they're resisting quite fiercely in the north. I am going to pull the uh, pull the uh, the half trucks in actually. How many? I've got a fair amount of mechanized divisions. That's another thing I can do. Uh, anyway, uh, mecha no, not mechanized divisions, mechanized uh, units. But I think a lot of them are older ones. But I can maybe uh, start changing off my... Okay, I'm, I'm doing that in the middle of things. But I can start changing these into mechanized infantry. How much is that going to... Uh, that wasn't my intention. This should have been a... Uh, this should have... Oh, I see. Okay, remove that. And this should have been an artillery division. There we go. Um, how many would that need? Uh, 960. Okay, I don't have that many. But uh, we can contemplate that for future for future operations. Okay, for now, let's, uh, let's finish off things here. And I think we have them almost encircled. While we are also pushing them from the south, and we are defending here again, so let's get everybody in the north and back in on the action, and that should do the trick, I think. Okay, uh, you can already, yeah, you move back there just to prevent these Americans from moving out. I really don't want them to move out. So let's get them let's get them pinned here. And we've got one division coming in from the north. Okay, they have actually pushed us back here. Uh, that's fine. We'll wrap it up from the north and then they are going to be in a single in a single tile and in a single province and then we'll deal with that. Uh, yeah, well no, if I'm not paying attention, the American you, that's what you get for not paying attention. You get Americans. Um, Weak positions here. I think once I'm done, I'll, I'll start cleaning this up. I think we can uh, we can take them on there quite successfully. Okay. Uh, yes, please. Everybody help attacking the Americans here. 
and we are moving in from the north here okay so once that's done uh, we've got them on the ropes uh, attack from the south as well and that should be it okay uh, I do get something happening oh that's a naval battle uh, never mind um, okay once we've got this cleaned up then uh, then we are then we're gonna get back to where are you going again help finishing of the Americans please and then you can return to your stations uh, once we've got this done then uh, we'll resume the uh, the attack in in Europe uh, is my airport done my airport is actually done which is good so um, this is my attack yes this is my attack and uh, they are counter-attacking us, however. But I think we are holding on the counter-attack. I am just gonna, I'm just gonna get the uh, mechanized infantry to defend because they are the ones being counter-attacked here. Um, and once we are, once their offensive has, once their attack has failed, then uh, then we will. And we will resume that. Okay, I did have somebody misappropriated here. Yes, uh, you can go south. And you need to rest. And you just keep them busy for now. And then the, the rest of them will, will counterattack once, once that's done. Uh, yeah, I was planning to try and contest the air in Norway and see if we can make any pushes through the mountains. Um, there's not an or okay this is actually a relatively strong position here uh, these guys however are not um, there is a Norwegian tank division which is very under strength but a lot of Swedish divisions still that said I think Sweden is out of manpower um, okay everybody please uh, counterattack the Americans here we can't let them break out so let's make sure that we're wearing them down and uh, that we are wiping them out uh, I think the Swedes, the Swedes are out of manpower, so any kind of damage I do to them is going to is going to be uh, more or less permanent. Okay, you can already return to Riga, and uh, you can return to your position there. I think I had one more here, and I've pulled one off the lines in the north. Yeah, that's fine. So we'll get you back to. Uh, we get you back to uh, to Tallinn, and you are going to return to your line in the north as well. Okay, so that's the Americans dealt with. That was another. Um, oh, we got uh, about seventy thousand seven. Yeah, seven sixty five seventy thousand uh, troops in a daring but ultim ultimately failed raid. Okay, um, where are my tanks? Where are my tank divisions? Uh, why are they not here? Um, okay, I am not sure where you where you people are going, but you are here. Get over there. Um, I'm not sure what happened there. I might have misclicked something, but uh, yeah. Okay, let's get the tanks back. Uh, the airport is finished, so let's bring the let's bring the air force up to uh, northern Sweden, and we can potentially also get ourselves um, another air wing. Yes, we can, and that can. So you are going to start training. Everybody else uh, is trained up and fully ready. Southern Norway has a relatively limited air force, so we can start uh, contesting that, and. Uh, I am currently using 15 factories for the encryption, which is why this is all slowed down a little bit. But uh, once that's back, then uh, then we get back to normal operations. Uh, allied attacks. Haven't seen these in a while. Who are you? Czech. Uh, Czech Republic. Um, do you still... Or Czechoslovakia, rather. Do you still have manpower? Yeah, they still have a fair amount of manpower. So, okay, yeah, you go for it. Uh, feel free to start assaulting these assaulting these positions and we'll just watch the casualties tick in really um, they might be pushing the Germans back here <coughs> in in these counter-attacks and that's okay um, I, I really need Germany to start holding their their own territory here 
but I can bring the um, I can bring the uh, I can bring the uh, railway guns up north. My operatives are busy doing uh, work. Uh, you're busy demotiva de demotivating the French, who are not able to replenish their troops, which is good. So you keep doing that. And uh, yeah, everywhere else, uh, I don't think any of these attacks is in any way dangerous to us. Um, not really. I mean, my divisions are entrenched there relatively well, so I don't think they're getting through there anywhere. And uh, we will try to get the Air Force, except for the training wing. Uh, where is the training wing? Or did I create it elsewhere? I thought I created a training wing. Oh, it's here. Okay, that's fine. They can do that there. Uh, I am going to get you on aerial superiority, and we'll see how that is working out. So that uh, we'll, we'll we'll see if um, we'll see if they're contesting it. And uh, we sh uh, we have okay. Our our air detection, our missions efficiency is very low. So I think what I'll do instead, I'm I'm not in a rush in the north. I am going to build myself a radar station in, um, where are we going to build it? Um, maybe in Norland, because then we're probably co potentially covering the area a little bit more. So let's, let me, let me get radar coverage up here. That should cover a fair amount of territory. And that should give us, uh, that should give us some, uh, some better uh, should give us some better, uh, some better mission efficiency for our for our planes, and hopefully uh, that works out quite well. Okay, uh, Germany, yeah, Germ uh, stretching Germany has the downside that uh, how much manpower does Germany have? Um, they've got 101 divisions at this point, and they have they have the manpower, so I think they should be training more divisions. I'm not sure if or why they're not, but uh, let's uh, let's make sure that we're not overstretching too much because once it's not so much that I am in trouble, it's that the Germans are in trouble every time this happens. Okay, so while we're building the radar stations up in the north, and there is another naval invasion. Okay, the Americans are back to their old tricks again by the looks of it, and I think they are coming with naval bombardment, obviously, but we're dug in extremely well here. Uh, I have some open spaces here to defeat them. So how much manpower do the Americans have left? I mean, this is the Americans. They have all the manpower, but I'm still curious. Yeah, about three to six million. And they they even just an old adult, adult surf. But it is their war support is starting to drop, uh, both due to combat casualties and um, due to the uh, offensive war that they're waging. So their war support is going to be a little down. How is the situation in China looking? Uh, yeah, the Shangxi Republic is, go is going to be dead very soon, which means that the, and potentially the, uh, no, sorry, the, the Hui Republic, uh, which means that that war is going to be over relatively quickly. And uh, then they no longer have the, uh, the, the war support debuff. So we still need to deal with the French uh, eventually. Now I'm just waiting for my tanks to be in place, and then we will launch the offensive. And I'm not sure where my intelligence went again, but uh, I am going to... Oh, they're moving out, are they? Okay, uh, we'll launch an offensive with... The, we'll launch an offensive with the tanks here. Uh, that is a single American division, so we should push through that relatively quickly. And we'll get the infantry to follow and then leave one behind and follow up and we've got the marines here as well but uh we'll, we'll try to encircle the uh the allied divisions here i don't think that's too much of a problem uh, just kind of have to keep an eye on that but i think it's been defeated yeah i didn't not leave these open because this is relatively dangerous because they might attack from two sides and um uh, then, then I have to I have to dig them out from my fortifications here and everything. So uh, that's actually an annoying position that they're assaulting there. But uh, let's see let's see how this is looking like. Okay, we are pushing through these uh, weakened divisions relatively quickly. 
and we are researching large planes in case we ever want to build the America bombers, although that's a German problem. How is my supply situation here? We are actually not holding Hanover, which means we are a little dingy on supply, but I want to get the encirclement done first, and then we will push towards Hanover. So uh, the idea being we're going around here, and the Marines can push from the other side. Uh, the infantry is going to catch up with this, and we'll see how this goes. Okay, they are actually counter-attacking here, so we do have to be somewhat careful. Uh, in that case, I am already going to launch the assault from the Marines here to relieve that effort, because that is... Um, that is, uh, yeah, these divisions need to hold here. Uh, we do not want our, uh, we do not want our tank divisions to be cut off. Um, I am gonna get, uh, I'm gonna get one tank division to move south in, actually two tank divisions to move south and then in. The other three attack here. Okay, that works. Yeah, and there we go, that's better. Uh, now we are attacking from multiple directions, and that should give us the edge that we need to breach these lines. The Germans are going to the Germans are going to backfill uh, the positions. Everybody here can assist with the uh, can assist with the uh, counterattack as well. So that cauldron is going to be closed very quickly, and that's going to be another. I don't actually know how many divisions we're fighting here. Um, six, uh, 18 divisions. Uh, there might and there might be like, uh, five overrun divisions if we are if we're getting that as well so let's get everybody let's get everybody in uh, let's get that all sorted out and then we can then we can again let the Germans consolidate I will send one tank division over to Bremen just to to take that already because that's a good defensible position behind the river line and you assist with the attack you assist with the attack from the north. You assist with the attack. Okay. Uh, come on. I do want to finish this attack if possible. So let's get everybody in on the, on the action. And that's 18 division. Yeah, 18 divisions uh, that are going to be worn down very very quickly. And I think we have already won at this point. Which means I can divert the other tank division into the attack on Bremen. And can then move north here just to clean that up. Okay, and there the Germans can, like I said, the Germans can go and uh, and hold the territory. But I think once we have once once we have that here once we have that cleaned up here, that was another Do we have the results? Do we have the reports already? Uh, 50,000 troops, I believe. Um, yeah, roundabout. And and a couple. That was uh, near Hanover, yes. So we've got about 50,000 uh, enemy troops. This is German attacks, I don't mind those. Uh, but yeah, we've got about 50,000 enemy troops dealt with. Uh, the Americans have landed in Sweden. Um, and are still landing in Sweden. Uh, let them land, honestly. I am going to attack from here. I know that's less than ideal, but I'm going to support it from the other side. So uh, that is seven divisions. We should be able to clean that out. And um, uh, there will be some more landing in the north here, I think. Uh, that's another four divisions in the north. Uh, we can deal with that as we go. So yeah, uh, a, bit more, a bit more casualties for the Americans. That uh, is not a bad thing. And... Uh, uh, let's uh, yeah, let's clear out Bremen. I'm not sure what the holdup is here. Let's get the tanks while we're here to clear out Bremen, and everybody else can uh, distribute themselves along the front lines where as they see fit. Um, in f yeah, in fact, um, I'm not even actually sure where I need you right now. So we'll just put you around here for starters. Uh, Germany is getting pushed back here in near Leipzig. We might have to help them out uh, actually holding those positions. So uh, I do no longer need those stabilizing positions. So we'll get three, four, 
Uh, okay, somebody took the wrong troops from the wrong army. You, first army. Um, and you took somebody you shouldn't. Uh, who was it? I have no clue, but we'll get... You took one division that you shouldn't have taken. Um, we'll give this one over there. There we go. Okay, so what was I doing? Uh, one, two, three divisions. Uh, we don't need to... T okay, these are different army. Uh, three divisions, sixth army divisions. Four sixth army divisions. I am going to get you to help um, holding the Leipzig line. Uh, four divisions, please. Okay, move. Uh, we'll leave that one division in Rostock because the Germans tend not to defend that. Uh, everybody else, yeah, just just move down here, and um, I think. Uh, okay, the tanks are returning to the original to the original front lines, so I am going to position them uh, north of Hanover for the push against. Hanover, there we go. And your goal is to clear the lines all the way up to Erfurt. Okay, that's done. Uh, marine divisions, I'm not sure where they're going, but the assault divisions can uh, can join this can join this as well. And then we'll hold this line here for starters. Um, I do have to make sure that we're not getting pushed out here, so... Let's reinforce the Germans here for now, along the front line, and... Uh, um, that's... Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll reinforce the Germans here for now, we'll stabilize the front lines, and uh, I would say that was a successful assault, all in all. Um, not sure why these guys are moving over here. Can you stay there, please? Yeah, that's better. Or were you supposed to be there? Um, you might have been supposed... No, I've, I've got three and five. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, they can't use that many divisions anyway. Uh, that's all good. Okay, uh, I think we are... Uh, I'm going to get someone to, to hold Bremen <laughs> that I just captured. Uh, so let's get everybody... Yeah, let's 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 get everybody in their positions. Let's wait for the Germans to catch up. Let's stabilize the front lines, help out in the south near Leipzig, and uh, we can. Oh yeah, I, I forgot for the Americans to deal with. Um, you are supposed to assist with that. Thank you. Just one American division left. Okay, we'll deal with the American incursion here, and then I think. Uh, Oh, there's another in. Oh, who do we have here? Uh, is that the French? It is the French. Okay. Um, French invasion near Riga. Uh, I'm going to let them land, actually. I just have one division here because it's a pain to deal with that across. But they're trying to take Riga. If they land next, if they land here or here, then I'm more than happy to to deal with that. Okay, let's deal with the naval invasions here, just on the quick. And. Uh, We'll just make sure that these. Uh, I'll wait for that one German, uh, that one American division to be dealt with here, and then uh, we'll help out with uh, with the rest of the troops that have landed there. There we go. Now you can. Uh, now you can take this on. Okay, and that's just two divisions, so perfectly fine. You can go back there. Uh, the south has held, and uh, the French have landed north of Riga, but I don't think they can take Riga. That said, I'll bring some divisions south to help out with the cleanup job. How many French have landed? Um, a fair amount, actually. But uh, I think Riga should be able to hold. I can bring these troops into Riga if necessary as well. Um, how's the air situation here? They don't have any... I mean, I may as well, since I'm not using the north right now. Uh, do I actually have an airport large enough to so to run this? I don't. I don't have an airport large enough to hold my... to hold my, my air force. <laughs> um, well, we can send them here. 
and uh, just contest enemy superiority over the Baltics. Uh, they, do, they should have the range. I mean, I could just split them up, but, you know, I'm lazy. So let's get them there. Uh, that'll help. Uh, this is going to be... This is going to be dealt with momentarily. And then you can move over there. There we go. And we'll just deal with the French here. We'll see how many of them are landing. Uh, there can't be an awful lot of them. Especially that... I'm, I'm very surprised that the French are doing that. Because they are... Um, they don't have manpower anymore. Uh, unless something happened and I didn't notice. Uh, the French have zero manpower, so they cannot replenish those troops. Those losses, they are permanent. They can they cannot do anything about that. Uh, that's five divisions here that have landed. And once the defense in once, once defense in Riga here is is complete, <laughs> because they are still attacking actually from the from the land border. I don't even need this division here. You can go back. Uh, you can go back and do that. Um, anything I can research? Yeah. Uh, might as well start spending my naval XP. And once you are done, you can return here. Uh, yeah, they're, they're still actually attacking here as well, so they are going to be uh, busy in, in double... Yeah, it's just two divisions left, and they're done. Okay, so that's done. You can return. That is another uh, 55,000 French troops gone that are not going to come back anymore. Okay, uh, they are trying to counterattack us here, but um, the, the only reason I'm not being more aggressive with, uh, with the assaults at this point, because I could totally breach and retake Wilhelmshaven. You know what? Actually, maybe I'll do. <laughs> ah, this is very tempting. The, the, the only reason I didn't want, did not want to do it is because it opens, up, uh, it opens up more territory that the Germans need to defend. And I think the Germans are running a little low on, on troops at this point. Uh, such that um, you are returning there. Yes, uh, running a little low on troops at this point. And uh, are we actually giving green? Yes, we've got green air. Uh, we are contesting and we are shooting down a lot of enemy planes. Uh, so uh, our jet fighters are quite busy and they do have the range. Okay, so that's dealt with. Uh, jet fighters can move, can return to their positions in, in the north and uh, get ready for the assault in uh, in for an, another assault attempt in Norway, using the uh, uh, using the mountain the mountain troops here. Um, this we we will probably. I mean, these are mostly Swedes and Norwegians here. Um, the bigger problem is going to be supply. So I'm if I push them back here, this isn't going to get me anything. Well, it's netting me three divisions that I can take down. So and that loosens up their front lines. Uh, don't think I can attack into these five here to take out this supply hub. But uh, taking down that supply hub is going to be a is going to be a major boost because that means everyone in the northern lines is without supply. So maybe I should do that first. Actually, uh, in that case, um, let's get let's get the mountain divisions onto. We'll leave one here. Now nah, we'll bring them all. Uh, six mountain divisions onto that position and we will an attempt to breach and and take the supply hub and then maybe uh, maybe we'll have an opportunity to destroy the uh, the Swedish and Norwegian troops here because Norway and Sweden don't really have uh, don't really have the uh, manpower anymore either and yeah last thing I'm gonna look at is these American troops that has cost um, that is costing them uh, that's an artillery gun, and that's another uh, four patterns de uh, destroyed. One of them we were able to capture and repair, which means my uh, tank production. Um, we don't have anything in stockpile that we can convert, but uh, we are starting to build up a fair amount of uh, a fair amount of material here. Just need a couple more. In fact, I'm actually going to just reduce that to ten for now. Uh, I want to get uh, get the the self-propelled artillery up as well, and especially the SPAA. But uh, yeah, we are 
Once I'm through with all these operations, uh, we are going to have some more military factories coming in, uh, probably in 1952. And uh, we'll continue stabilizing the lines here in Germany. Uh, we will push them back towards the river, uh, retake Erfurt and Weimar potentially, and uh, I hope that just shortening the lines here a little bit has helped the Germans also um, you know, get into their defensive positions. Um, and I think that front line, uh, that line should be, um, we'll just make it like this for now. There we go. Uh, four divisions on that line. The Germans are holding and, uh, and we'll hold against the French, which uh, should be losing strength from any attacks, any future attacks that they're doing because they can't replenish those. Uh, there might be potential here somewhere, but this is all very well defended. They're quite weak in the Western Front at this point, so I'm more inclined to push there. And uh, we will see. We will see what we can do. I'll 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 put out some medals in between in between episodes. But uh, we are also we are also losing manpower. Uh, we, we're below two hundred thousand at this point. And um, okay, that's done. Uh, I, I do have to be a little bit careful because even these small, even these small assaults, um, they cost us. They don't cost us much, but uh, the the offensive operations from our side, they they do tend to be uh, they do tend to be uh, painful in terms of losses. So we do have to be a little careful here, but uh, yeah, slowly it goes. I'll I'll have medals, I'll have tea and medals ready for everyone in between. In between episodes and in the next episode uh, we will continue uh, oh Fr French cipher decrypted that's nice uh, we will continue to uh, actually uh, the reason I'm not using these uh, right now is because uh, that should give me a passive bonus actually I think so if that's not the case please tell me anyway uh, my operatives are still in the right positions. We are still uh, demo demoralizing the French, as well as building up our information networks in Scandinavia. And um, we will see. We will see what I do next. I want to stabilize the Western German line here-ish, like around here, and then um, potentially uh, move the first north and deal with the rest of Scandinavia and just take that over and uh, and close uh, uh, push to uh, push towards Christian Sand. We'll see. Anyway, that's coming in the next episode. And that's it for me today. Thanks everybody and I will see you next time. Bye bye.